differences in the culture that people are really just the same. They just might have a different culture and like that. Little bit do they know um, our cultures are actually very similar. Um, being a Hispanic female, I expected it to be like nobody wanted to talk to me. You know, who is this little white girl? Even though I'm not white. It's just like any other university that you would go to. Obviously, the big difference is that you know. It is a historical black college university. Oh man, I was excited about the women. I actually didn't even know what an HBCU was until I came here. Well, everyone's kind of outgoing and you know, they're always like, hey, what's your name? You know, how's it going? Yeah, it's basically everybody is friendly to me and they are like talk with me. They are not see me like, oh, you're different. No, they, are, they, they didn't do that. <laughs> Not so far, no. They like usually people just ask me, "Oh, where do you go?" I go to Savannah State. They're like, "Isn't it like all black college?" And I go, like, "Yeah." No, it doesn't make me uncomfortable. It's like I can understand having something different on campus, you know. No, I, I haven't. At first, it was kind of awkward, but I'm used to it now, and it's cool being the minority. Yeah, and I feel sometimes I feel like it's, it's mostly people that, that I don't know. Like they'll like they'll just assume like I don't know things, or they'll assume that I'm not familiar with certain situations. Unfortunately, but what I have seen around is just basically, you know, you get, you know, like you have a light-skinned person and you have a dark-skinned person and they kind of just brag on each other type thing. It's kind of a little bit different, I know, but I um, enjoy that feel actually. Sometimes I do feel a little bit left out. Um, not everybody is very social with me. Um, maybe it's because I'm not social with them. That could be a, a issue. My government teacher, she actually has a constant debate almost every day on white versus black in the community. And I just kind of sit there with no input because I'm, you know, I'm the in-betweener. It's just all people trying to study, man. Like. Yes, you know, you're going to have more. The majority is going to be, you know, you're going to have your black or African-American. Um, but, I mean, it's an education regardless of where you go. You know, if you're... Expectations like you're gonna somehow like be robbed or assaulted or anything like that just because it's a black school that solely falls me. Not being black in an HBCU is a totally different experience than going to any other university, but it's it's a learning experience. You can learn a lot from it, you know, because you just learn about a whole different culture when you should be, used to, you know, just your own, and it's kind of like breaking out of your comfort zone. Meeting people that are different than you, and then meeting people that are different than you, but also similar at the same time. The biggest shock is that there's really, there's really no difference. You know, everyone's to college, everyone's going here to get an education. Um, just because it's an HBCU doesn't mean that it's, you know, just for African Americans. Um, you know, if, if you're out there and you want to get an education, you can go to an Ivy League school, you can go to an HBCU, you will get a good education and eventually into a career and into a job. <laughs>